Let's talk about how to hold your instrument. The lute dulcimer is not a very large instrument, so it's kind of held like a ukulele. You're gonna put it where it's comfortable in your torso, and with the, around the middle of your forearm of your strumming hand, you're gonna pinch down right where those strings come out. Now, the reason we're pinching there is because that's the center of the body. If we go too low, we're gonna slide it up, or too high, and it'll slide down. So you want it right on the center. And that's not really gonna affect how the strings sound because the strings back here are behind the bridge and that doesn't change the sound unless you really shove them in but you're not doing that because your arms right on the corner now in your other hand you're holding the neck between your thumb and your index finger it's kind of held kind of like a broom we just turned it sideways and it's held comfortably so that the other fingers can curl around and play notes as you uh, as you hold it now Lastly, you want to make sure your hand of your strumming hand is not holding the body of the instrument up. If you're holding it this way, you're not allowing your arm to hold it in place. And what's going to happen is when you strum, it's going to sound kind of mechanical because you're limiting that strum. What you want to do is let that hand be free, hold it where it's comfortable and that hand's free so you can strum all the way through the strings. This makes the sound a lot more smooth and that's what we're shooting for. So remember, just hold it if you're picking the strings. When you pick, Holding it right here can allow you to measure up and down and give you a point of reference. So the only time I'm holding it is if I'm picking. Otherwise, that hand should be able to move free. So if you're holding correctly, you won't have to hold it with your strumming hand. Now, lastly, where we're strumming can change how it sounds, but there's not a correct spot. You see, I'm strumming way up here near the neck. That's because I like my sound to be nice and warm. And if you strum way up high, Towards the neck, it's going to sound more mellow, but if you strum further back towards the bridge, it's going to sound more plucky. If I want a banjo sound, I'll go towards the bridge. But if I want a sweeter, warmer sound, or a brighter sound, I'll go towards the sound hole, or even a little further up. So that'll determine the sound. As you strum, make sure there is a bend in your wrist so that your arm and your hand aren't sitting flat on the strings. That'll mute the string. So make sure there's a bend in your wrist and you're strumming it in the section of the body you want the best sound. Just remember, let that hand strum nice and free. So whether you're sitting or standing, this position to hold it will all be the same. So practice it like this. I know it's going to feel a little awkward at first if you've never played this instrument, but after a week or so, it's going to become more comfortable. So that's everything you need to know on how to hold your instrument and a little bit you need to know on how to strum the instrument as well. So go out there and keep making some music.